How is it going guys and welcome to another video. I would say this is kind of a 200 subscriber special but it's another mod showcase as well. First of all, thank you. You guys have made my day. 200 subscribers and we're still going up. And it's only been about two weeks and we've hit, we've managed to hit 200 and I'm pretty happy about that so let's get on with the showcase. Uh, today we are doing the Assassin Craft mod, basically Assassin's Creed in Minecraft. But yeah, this is a new biome, or the new. When you go into the portal, uh, it's mostly just desert, and I managed to find some grass. So yeah, and there is a building over there. There are like random structures spawning around here. Apparently, that guy is a blacksmith spawn thingy, and that's the new animal over there. But first of all, I have very bad connection. Let me just. Uh, okay, sweet. And uh, he sounds just like a villager. He's got he's got 20 health and yeah, he's a freaking douche. Oh yeah, this is a new currency and you can we'll, we'll get onto that. Okay, we'll get onto that. This is a really great mod. The link will be in the description to this mod. And if you want if you want to know any about any tutorials on like how to make channel icons or channel art or channel logos. I'm not the best, but I can still help if you need it. So yeah, let's go on to the weapons. Okay, that's just the money, but yeah. First of all, the hidden hook blade. As you can see, it. Let me just get spawn. Where's the deer's gone? There it is. Okay, sorry, OCD. No, I'm joking. I don't have OCD. Let's just spawn a fuck ton, and they will have ten health. So the deers have ten health. Good to know. Hook blade. Come here, you stupid bitch. Um, let me just F5. So if I go back to two, no, not F2, two. There you go. Yeah, as you can see, it's 3D. Um, really cool. And let's go kill some other truckers. Let me just, uh, yeah. So hook blade, please die. Come here now. Okay. Oh, we did seven. That was lucky. Is that a crit hit? No, it's doing seven. It says 6 damage, but damage dealt is 3.0. I don't understand, but yeah, it says 6 damage, but it's really 7, just to ensure that. And the other thing is, um, when you sprint and left click, I'm pretty sure you lunge. So if I... Come here, you stupid... Oh, I hate these freaking things. You know what? Let me get a different freaking mob. Let me, let me get one that don't move as much. Pig. Freaking pig. Uh, uh, die. Okay, shit, I'm in creative mode. Oops. Oopsies. Okay, next, if you left click. So if you jump and left click, I'm pretty sure. Or is it jump and right click? I think it's jump and right click, is it? Okay, wait, let me just uh, slash game mode S. Okay. So, I know you can climb up with a hook blade, but it won't let me. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the next one. This is the Tomahawk, guys, and it's freaking amazing. As you can see, right click, you can throw it, but you can also use it as a weapon, which is pretty cool. So, say if this is this durability just runs out straight away, so. Come here, you fucking bitch. Okay, oops. Language, sorry. Okay, so it does 9 damage. Don't know why it says 8. But yeah, let me get a pig and see if it does 9. Yep, it does 9. Um, as you can see, you sh uh, the good idea is to like wait for the durability to like run out almost. Then you just, you know, you throw it. That was meant to hit someone. So dear, die you son of a... No. I will kill one of them. One of them will die. Yes! That's right, screw you, stupid prick. Anyway, crossbow. Slash game with C. Eh. As you can see, it's the same animation, so... Looks like I'm holding a gun, but... What, what the hell? You can't even see the arrow. It's going that fast. I think you don't even need to aim upwards. Yeah, you can aim straight and just blast them. So if I 
Come here. Yeah. Let me kill your freaking child. Okay. Now is a regular bomb. It does 10 damage. And the effect is weakness for 10 seconds. Only applies to NPCs though. So. Oh. Yep. Made a little crater and let me just screw you guys for making me lag. This is why I hate you. This is actually a really good way to mine. Have I just noticed that? So yeah. <laughs> Alright, next is the throwing knife. And... I like the animation it does, because when you throw it, it spins, like, repeatedly. And yeah. And... Let me just kill one of these. You do have to aim upwards though. So, die. Okay, sweet. Okay, next is the Howbird. This is a long weapon, 9 attack damage. Does it look big when you hold it? Kinda, yeah. Ooh, it does. Good. Because this is a really big weapon. And you, my friend, will not die because you're such a prick. And let's type in pig. Pig, 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 pig. There you are. Sweet. So, it says 9 damage, but I'm pretty sure it does 10. Yeah, it does. It, it, it does 10. Let's get a villager just to make sure it doesn't do more than 10. Because, um, yeah, right now it's like 1 above the actual damage. Yeah, it does 10. Next up is the heavy weapon, Bearded Axe. This is great for a dwarf, but yeah, so 7 attack damage. A bit less than the first one, so if I just spawn a couple. And... Boom. So it does 8? So yeah. Everything is just doing 1 po damage point above the actual damage it's supposed to do. So, yep, that's the first set of weapons, and I'll be back with the next. Alright guys, I am back, and um... I'm not doing any crafting recipes, there's just too many weapons. Uh, so next up is the hidden gun, I forgot to show this, so... Um, it won't let me shoot in creative either, so do you need a bullet in creative as well? Wrong chest, and... Okay, sweet. Yep, you do. So if you hold it and... Bam. It's meant to do 6 attack damage. And a villager dies in one. So I'm pretty sure this is OP. And if I just time set, uh, time set zero. Okay, sweet. So that is a hidden gun. It does way more than 20 damage. <laughs> and it says six. Next up is the scimitar. Do I get that right? Oh, it's here. Scimitar. Scimitar. It looks like that. Really cool. And if I just, uh, uh, there's no one to kill. Hello. It does 9 damage. It says 8, but yeah, 9. Next one is the Bartholomew's Axe. I, I don't even know how much damage that did. Does it, that did 9 damage. Alright, sweet. Next up is the Roman Longsword. So, let me just see what this looks like. Uh, it looks kind of small. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> it does 7 damage, so... Yeah. And next up is the Mil... M Milanese sword. I don't know if I said that right, but yeah. It does... Uh, 10 damage. And now is the Florentine... Sword. No, Flor Florentine... Falcon. Or Falcon. I don't... I really don't know. I play Assassin's Creed, but I really just can't pronounce the names. It does 10 damage, so there you go. Next is the common sword. I'm guessing these get dropped by like the mobs. That will show you. Seven damage. All of the most of these weapons are way stronger than diamond. And next up is uh the what's it called? Okay. The Captain's Sword. It does 8 damage, because I'm presuming it does. I'm right. Ooh, crit. Alright. And I will be back with the next set of weapons. Alright guys, I am back, and next up we have the Spear. 
it does eight damage, but I'm pretty sure you can just you, you, you it does nine. Yeah, there you go. Okay, next up is the Lavolps Bite. Don't know if I said that right, but yeah, nine damage, as presumed. It does one more. Okay, next up is a pretty cool weapon. So the, it's called the Channeled Sinquada. Sinquada, Sinquada, something. It does 50% uh, additional attack speed. It, it has 50% additional attack speed. And it does 9 damage, so. So, as you can see, uh, if I just. Um, yeah, there you go. Next up is the Notch Sequada. Sinquada? Sinquada? Whatever! Okay, it does 10 damage and it does the same 50% thing. So, there you go, sweet. Next up is the Butcher's Knife. This is, this is not an assassin weapon, this is just a serial killer's weapon, but yeah. It does 8 damage, and it, it's, all, it's obviously going to be 9. Next up is the knife, it does 7 damage, so... There you go. And next up is the stiletto. I know how to pronounce that, because I'm British. Oh, I'm joking, I'm, it's not because I'm British, it's just because it's easy. So yeah, stiletto, 7 damage, simple as. Next up is the Sword of Altair. And this one's amazing. It's 10 attack damage, it's 11 obviously. OP weapon, freaking amazing. And yeah, what am I trading with you? Anyway, I will be back with the next chest. Alright guys, I'm back, and we're going to start off with the Altair armor. So if I just uh, throw these away... And... This is what I look like. I look freaking amazing. It's kind of fat for me though. I'm, my Minecraft Steve is not that fat. Come on guys. Come on, he's not obese. Look at him. He's, he's just small. <laughs> Alright. Uh, have fun. Alright guys, next up is the Edward Kenway armor, and this looks pretty cool, this makes me feel a bit less fat, but yeah, Edward Kenway, sweet. As next up is the Ezio armor, Ezio, not Ezio, Ezio, yeah. So, yep, yeah, cool looking, and yeah, what, what the fuck are you looking at? Sorry about that guys, I had to kill him, he was staring at me funny. But yeah, next up is the Ezio Revelations armor. Because, you know, it's the Revelations. And why do you keep looking at me? Alright guys, sorry I had to kill him again. And next one is the Connor Kenway's armor. And yeah, pretty cool looking. Um, it makes my head really fat. But... Yeah, pretty cool, and we'll move on to the next set. Alright guys, I am back, and first of all, we're going to start off with the body something uh, cape. So, this is freaking cool. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm amazing. Why do you add the helmet, the leggings, and the boots, and I should look amazing. Next up is going to be the body plane cape. It's a bit darker. And next up is a body venet... Venetian cape? If I just some... Um, e... Eh. So that's, that's what that looks like, so if I have five and yeah. And if I remove that, next up is the body venet... Venetian cape. I'm really bad at pronouncing shit. Next up is the... Or how to do okay. And last but not least, Desmond's jacket. It looks kind of funny. I have to pres the sleeves are too fat, but it it's cozy, I guess. Yeah, cozy. All right, guys, I'm back, and in the chest we have the scrolls of Romulus, part one to six, and it gives you little clues of where it is. And then the last one is the full key. And if I just take that key with me, I'm gonna need that. Okay, and then we have some capes. Pretty cool capes. Here is the ammos and poison and medicine. 
when you right click. These are just pieces that just they're just items. Here's some food. And if I go into game mode S and just you know where I'm at hunger, uh, uh in fact let me get some rotten flesh. And uh you know what, forget it. Uh I don't know how much it heals and it heals three hearts and regenerates for two seconds, sweet. Okay, now there's a poison. You can throw it? Eh? Okay. This one's self-explanatory, you just medicine. They're both right click. Poison, you just have to... I have to do this. DIE YOU MOTHERFUCKER! Sorry about that guys, um... He's dying, but next we have the cape. And I just gave him my... Oh my goodness, look at what the poison... Oh, shit. I was actually gonna show you what the poison did as well. Um, the capes, they don't work. I think they're just... I think they're just crafting things to make the actual body armor. And look at what the poison does. Look at his stats on the top. Look at that. Look at that bit. It does hunger, poison, heart something. More shit. I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, sweet. Amazing. Uh. Next up, I will be. I will be right back with the last set of stuff. All right, guys. I'm back, and here's just some quick blocks. This is a. Uh, I think the Romulus dungeon thing. I will try to find one. But let's move on to the mobs. So if I do that, and yeah, mobs. Alright, first off, we have the follower of Romulus, and it needs to be on a uh, difficulty. Time set zero. As you can see, he has a pretty huge ass weapon. He's got 20 health, and yeah, pretty cool. Next up, we have a heavy guard. 24 health and a golden sword. Pretty cool. Now we just have the stupid shit of a deer. Um, <laughs> next up we have the brute god and he's got 40 health and a really fat weapon. I mean, that's not even fair. Okay, next up we have the archer and he's holding a normal bow and he's got really weak armor and he's got 18 health. So yeah. Next up we have the blacksmith. He's got 20 health. He, he does nothing. And next up we have the Light God. He's got 18 health, a normal stone sword, and yeah. Next we have, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's called the Papau God. He's got a really cool weapon, but and he's uh I think that's a rapier. And that's uh 28 health and yeah. Last but not least we have the general. 32 health and an iron sword. So not there's not really a boss mob I would say in this game, in this mod, but still a very cool mod and I will be right back as soon as I find a dungeon alright guys I'm back and unfortunately I couldn't find the dungeon it's literally I've been doing this for about 30 minutes straight I can't find the dungeon just I can just find a lot of pricks that won't tell me what the dungeon is and you know what we do with pricks? We kill them. Because. Why not? They're pricks. And, uh. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will be making a lot more mod showcases, and as you can see, I'm failing to kill them. So, yeah. Sorry I couldn't find the dungeon. Thanks for watching. And. Peace! Um, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys one last thing. In the dungeon, it will drop the Brutus armor. And I am so stupid. I forgot, I, I, forgot, I forgot to show you guys this, but yeah. So this is what the Brutus armor looks like, guys. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I just said that again, but yeah, I forgot to show you this. Really cool looking armor, and peace. How is it going, guys? Welcome back to another mod showcase. Today we are doing.